I want to thank Lugino for giving me the opportunity to create the cover and write the introduction to his extraordinary book. Life is time that reveals itself in a place, and through the form, make each of us recognizable to the others. Our uniqueness makes us special and wonderful when viewed through the lens of cultural, artistic, and scientific progress. Our strength is called awareness. It cannot move blocks of marble, but stars. And it's only through this strength, which came to life from the energy of the universe, that we can feel present, active, alive. Yes, because it's not enough to breathe to be, and it's not enough to be alive to be aware. Awareness is a two-way path, from outside to inside, and from inside to outside, like breathing, and as the latter is indispensable for the mechanical functioning of our body, so awareness is essential for the survival of our soul. But how do we become aware? Ocean of words have been spent thousands of books written in all languages, but in the end, the search for the most precious treasure we should aspire to is there, in front of our eyes. How many times has happened to you to enter in a completely dark room and not see anything, and then, after a few moments, to be able to perceive the presence of the furniture and objects? The search for awareness is very similar to this experience. You just have to make dark inside you, close your eyes, and as if by magic, that dot of light will appear to you. And if you have the courage to follow it, it will lead you to the deeper part of yourself that you could not even imagine. So what can another book, this book, be for? if awareness is already there waiting for us. For the same reason that we choose one title rather than another, to give certainty to what we actually already knew. Words, as well as symbols, have the ability to make unconscious thought tangible, to bring it to the surface, to make it become active thought. Now imagine swimming in a beautiful sea. You know that beneath the surface of the waves there are thousands of different and extraordinarily fascinating life forms. But only the courage to dive will allow you to discover and experience them. I always say that we live in an aquarium immersed in the coral reef. We observe the beauty that surrounds us and invite all those creatures and a little effort will be enough to overcome the transparent walls of our cage and be part of it. That little effort is called happiness. This is why this book, more than any other, can reveal the object and furniture of our unconscious room, because this book contains not only words, but small masterpieces that Luigino has drawn it to reinforce the concept contained. They are not the images that became support for the words, but they are the words that support the drawings. It's not a notional and self-referential book, but a real user manual, which will guide you toward the path that will lead you to a new approach to life. The Coubertin, talking about sport, said that the important thing is not to win, but to participate. Our first cry and our first breath have made us participate in the game of life, but it's only by winning it that we will we'll know what that breath and that cry are worth.